which game has your favorite like performance from you whether that's due to how they sound in the game the lines themselves or something else entirely um i would say and this is apparently it's everybody else's favorite game too i think it's probably three and uh the reason actually has nothing to do with my performance because i don't like the way i sound ever um i i can't bear to look at myself on film or tv i can't bear to listen to myself it's weird but that was the last game that Bungie was involved with. And by then, I kind of feel like we sort of had it down a bit, if that makes sense. Now, I understand yeah. I wasn't aware of this at the time, but evidently, two was, you know, a, a bit of a catastrophe. Uh, they tried to, you know, do it really, really quickly and people were, you know, dropping dead. I don't know what was going on, but... Evidently, it was hard and it was it had its issues. But when we got to three, it felt like everything sort of clicked. And it was also then the last time that I worked with those guys. The fellow that I tended to work with, the the sound engineer, who was also a sound designer, Jay Wineland, was a good friend of mine. I directed his wife in a, a plays. Um, and he was gone as well because he went with Bungie off to work on Destiny. And then, of course, everybody ended up sort of getting fired there. So, you know, he had a bit of a meltdown and moved to Scotland. And now he's down in L.A. working for another company. And Marty still has something going on. But it was all those people. I really liked those people. And then when 343 came in, again, very, very nice people. But it was a different dynamic. Um, the fellow that I worked with for 4 and 5, I think, uh, started out. On what was a tricky foot, he basically was telling me how to say all the lines and uh, sort of micromanaging uh, the performance, which I wasn't used to. Um, and indeed, with that game, there were all sorts of people that showed up on social media going, you know, get Jeff Steicher back. Who's this new guy? It's not what we're used to. And it's like, no, it's, it's still me. I'm just doing what I was asked to do. And we sort of, I think, worked that out so that, you know, they, at a certain point we were recording and I said, you know, it would really help me if maybe we could go back and listen to like one of the uh, early games, which was a ploy, of course, but <laughs> we did and they went, oh, oh, oh yeah, no, no, you're, no, you're right. You go ahead. You do it the way, yeah, you do, do it the way you want to do it. It's like, thank you. So that helped a little bit. So I'd say three. What would it sound like if you said cradle to the grave? That right thing. right now? You mean yeah, say it's the most cradle yeah. to the grave. Like that? Yeah, okay, I think I think I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I, I don't know why things end up in the game and why other things don't. I've never understood that. They don't consult me. Um I, in fact the way we tend to record is that I go line by line, I do three takes, and they decide the one they're gonna use. And you know, it's one of those things where as we, as I do the lines, I'll do double kill, double kill, double kill, you know, whatever it is. And I'll try and guess which one the producer is going to choose. I'm almost always wrong. I know a lot of people don't like how 343 has made a lot of the Halo games. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like, they're not the favorite of most people. How would you say you like the 343 game more than well, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, you know, I really loved Halo 3. And a lot of that is because it was, as I said, the last one I did with Marty O'Donnell. Um, as far as, I, it's very interesting because, you know, I think anybody that takes over a franchise like this wants to really put their stamp on it, you know? They're not necessarily going to do it exactly like the people who came before. They have their own ideas. They've got their own stuff they're trying to accomplish. And I think that happened to a certain extent with 343. So it wasn't perhaps so much a case of, you know, their games weren't good. They just weren't what folks were used to, perhaps. Um, and as, as, as I was saying to one of the callers earlier, you know, what I'm hearing right now is that people really love Halo Infinite and feel like it, they say it feels like classic Halo. And by that, I think they mean you know, those earlier games. 
So it isn't as if 343 can't do that. There was a period when we first started with them. I know for a fact that there was a kind of a push to um, basically uh, uh, find all new people for the game. They were going to replace us all. And then for one reason or another, that didn't happen. Um, and I think that that was smart because I think that people did get pretty attached to the voices that they recognized. You know, I mean, can you imagine Halo without Steve Downs? I don't know what it would be like. Um, I mean, we'll sort of get an idea when the Halo TV show comes out in a month or two, whenever it's going to drop, because of course, Steve is not playing master chief in the TV series. Um, um, but, uh, you know, and we'll see what people think about that. It'll be interesting. I've noticed with the earlier games, you almost had a more, a, um, stoic approach to how you did your voices to where in like Halo four and five and infinite, you have a more, um, expressive way of expressing them. Uh huh. Is there, do you have a different almost, uh, mindset of doing the voices in the newer games than you did back then? Or is that more of like, uh, a three four three thing they decided. That's no. Uh, interestingly enough, I mean, I I have not gone back and listened to a lot of the earliest recordings. Um, but in it depends a little bit on what kind of a line I've given. Do you know what I mean? You know, so if I've got blue team go, red team go. You know, it sounds a little bit more military kind of stuff. But then occasionally, when you get a line. You know, like, uh, oh, I don't know. There was a line that we almost had in the game, and I think this was around the time of three, and they wouldn't let us do it, where I said, you stuck. You know, where it was obviously messing with the player who had fucked up. Um, so I think, if anything, I would say that when 343 came in, they were taking out a lot of the character in the voice. That was what I was being asked to do. So that, you know, rather than that character who had like a really low voice and stuff, it was sounding a little bit more like my, it felt like that's what we were doing. Okay. So they, they were doing a little bit more of your own personal characterization. That was, that was kind of the way it felt. Yeah. Yeah. 